Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, we're going to learn how to save and retrieve data in a session variable using IronSpeed Designer. For this demonstration, I've opened the project that is based on the familiar Southwind database that most of you have probably seen before. And this is a stock IronSpeed project that was generated with really nothing else added. What we're looking at in particular is the addproducts.aspx page, which allows you to add products to the products table. Now, let me go ahead and click on the product name field box, and this is the text box where you would add the product name. And you could see below in this formula tab that, that adding a record is checked, so it knows that it has to add this record to the database. What is not checked is session variable. And it's important to understand what a session variable is, so let me quickly explain that. Session variables can have a multitude of uses. I'll uh, give you an example. You can save a session variable when somebody logs into your application uh, that records what department they are, so that later you could filter uh, by that. Now, where is it stored? It is stored on the user system as a cookie. But that is differentiated from cookie, uh, which you could also save to, in that the session variable does expire with the user's session. Uh, you can go into IIS on your server and uh, change the session timeouts to determine when this will happen after a period of inactivity, but it's always going to expire, especially if they close their browser. But it's useful in that you can store information there that is useful for that session and that you could recall later. So back to this demo. Uh, we can see that the product name is already configured to save uh, as a record in the database, but we're going to say uh, save it as uh, a session variable as well, and you can see that it has record. It's going to record it in this session variable name, which I'm just going to copy right now. Now let's say we wanted to add a field to the top of this form that would tell us the last product that we added. Well, we've done the first part of it already. Now for the next part. We're going to insert a row above this top row, and we will go to our toolbox, and we're going to select the Gen tab, on which we can see that we can choose a literal, and we're going to put this under B, and we're going to name it LT last product and we're going to then put a label here that just says last product what we could do now is go to our new literal go to the formulas tab and say initialize when displaying this equals uh, session variable, and we'll paste in our, our session variable name. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've built and run the application, and we are at the product show table page, and we're going to go and click on add. First thing you'll notice is that our literal that we added uh, is blank. Uh, the label is still there, and we're going to go and add a record right now. We'll name it test widget and we'll fill out some variables here and and we're going to save it and say new and lo and behold it knows that the product that we added was test widget and even if we go off the page we go elsewhere uh, to other sections of the app because our session is going to persist, if I go back into products and I click Add again, it still knows that the last product that I added was the test widget. Going back to the app in IronSpeed, let's take this one step further. Let's say instead of storing the last product, I want to store the last several products and display that information. How would I do that? Pretty easily using the 
formula system in IronSpeed, I would take this and what I would do is copy it to my clipboard and go back to product name and to session variable. Here we said for this, this equals this text. What if I said plus quotes comma space quotes plus its previous session history? Let's see what that does. I'll add my first product test widget 2 and then all the rest and I'll save that the next one more and the other information and I'll press save if I go now back to products and I try to add the history of the last two widgets that I added are there and it'll just keep going across so as you can see saving and retrieving data in a session variable is easy and extremely useful I hope that this video has been helpful for more information please go to the knowledge base or the forums located at ironspeed.com thanks for watching